Yo guys, Master Mark out here, and welcome to another Steam one-shot with Bleak Sword DX. So today we're going to be playing another Steam Next Fest game demo, and with it comes another Devolver digital game. And I have to say, I love all the Devolver digital games that I get to play during these Steam Next Fests. And this one is coming as kind of a surprise. It's a 2D Souls-like roguelike. And, oh, I wasn't expecting the changes here. Oh, DX. Hmm, I don't know if I should do classic or DX mode. I think we might stick with classic for now and start the tutorial. Why not? All right, let's hop into it. Up, down, left, right. Oh, God, no. All right, I just had to switch over to controller because I'd much rather do controller if you're going to make me do arrow keys. And light attack, of course. X. Being fairly common for most of it. If you don't have enough stamina, an X will appear below the character. Stamina bar recovery if you rest for Okay, that's easy to understand. Heavy attack. Alright. Easy to do. Ooh. I kinda like how it feels. And I like the charge up too. But dang, it's gonna take a lot of stamina. Oh, rolling doesn't take stamina? Oh, that's so good. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have to actually prep for this. Alright. So, this is block, but is it block or is it really just parry? Because I'm... I think it's just parry. Counter attack? Oh, man. Okay, this is a little harder time. Alright. Okay, I gotta do three counter attacks. Uh, okay, that's so bad. Neat. Tutorial complete. Okay. So I'm probably gonna, just going to be dodge rolling and hitting a bunch. The end of the second age. What the heck? King Eric, Prince Darren, were betrayed. By the king's younger son, Prince Rael. His mind was poisoned by a cursed blade. The Bleak Soul. With that treason of the blood. The Red Age began. An age of dark magic, dreadful abominations, and suffering. King Ryle and the Bleak extended his reign of terror for 200 years. But veiled rumors were spreading through the years. A three magical stone held the power to destroy even the Bleak. What is this, a Triforce? Prophecy was revealed to a young warrior in a dream. Whereabouts of the stone were a mystery no more. The Bleak Kings? What? Okay, that was weird. Very, very strange. Cinematic! Or a tiny pixel person. Oh, I, heck no, you got me crazy for going in there! You can pause the game anytime to exit the level, change settings, or manage the items you acquire during the game. Okay. Oh, that was easy. Item found? Take item. Sure. Victory? That's it? Okay, I wasn't quite expecting it to go like that. Yes, we're just moving on to the next level. Bring them out, bring them out.
Okay, new beast here entry. Neat. This does feel like a more level based, like, souls like, in a sense. Oh, what the heck? Wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> I have to say, I was not prepared for that. This is really gonna be like all level based. Like, will. Okay, so it does re, re give me my stuff. Like. Now I'm ready for spiders. I can at least try and dodge them. On two. That hit me. What hit me exactly? Yeah, I heal every level. This would be kind of rough. Item found. Ooh, hello. I will take that. The question is, how do I use those? How do I use consumables? I gotta use it right now, but still, I want to use it whenever I need to. More heart, more armor. Give myself more heart. Personally, I would prefer more stamina, but... That's always what I do in games like this. When whenever there's an option for more stamina, that's the first upgrade I'm picking. Like, instantaneously. Plus, it doesn't even see light. Alright, I know you're gonna come after me. Come on. Try to block it. Okay, so that one I blocked. Parried? Blocked? I don't even know. It feels like I'm parrying, but if... You know, I feel like I'm just pressing the block button. I'm not, like, parrying at an exact time. I suppose the block is short enough where it feels like I'm blocking, you know? Or it feels like I'm parrying. Ooh, bestiary, huh? I don't know what the heck that was. Feels like I'm going through this quite quickly, and it's weird how they have the whole system set up for game four. You are not making this easy. Please don't solve more things. Thank you. Can't even like attack and block you, you know? What? Oh my god. I hate those spiders. It's so far the most annoying thing in this game. If you gave me a level of all spiders, I would have to tank it. I'd have to tank it. I, I don't even know what I'd do. Oh man, alright. Come here. Boy, I'd really like an upgrade for what is that? Oh. Get out of here! Freaking an antler man! <laughs> Ooh, clippable. Heck yeah. Uh yes. Oh, it minuses one of my hmm. Like this. No offense. I'd like my, I'd like my damage to go up. I want to have to do so many hits to get to what he thinks. Ow! I love the cinematic uh, feel of some of these levels. We would like just a little bit more stamina. I just just one more so I can get safely get five hits out. I found. I guess I could do that. How does one equip the item itself? Like is is it just that I have to leave it in my inventory for it to work? Or what? Shoot. Well, there's our first Eldritch Abomination. Well, maybe not first. 
That is all for our current demo of Bleak Sword. I have to say, I really enjoyed this, but that is so far everything for the demo as of this right now. What I'd like to see is if I could do, say, a new game on DX mode instead. I don't know whether or not there's going to be an entirely different thing. Like, it might be completely weird levels, but I don't know if there's going to be any different. If I can say find a difference, I will immediately tell you. So far, I can't say I'm noticing uh, exactly what the difference is besides, like, level layout. I believe the level layout might be different. I'm not seeing a new variety of enemies so far. I feel like it took longer for me to do tutorial than it is for doing this. Uh, I guess I could use more hearts? I don't know what the ratio really is yet. Like, I'd like to know if it's better for armor, and if I'd like to have more armor, taking the less damage would be perfect. Fire, you better not- oh my god. Fighter, I'm coming for you. How dare he. Victory is assured. Thank god for that. Why'd that take three? Well, that was not one with literally all spiders. But yeah, I've, I'm noticing that, yeah, I, I now have been seeing a different variety of enemies. It's kind of nice. I like that. Maybe I should increase my armor by one after having done that. I don't know how much XP I'm going to get before the end of this next bit. What the heck? Oh. Must be very careful with uh that guy. Okay, and now we're doing the boss fight again. Okay, don't know if I have to be careful for this one. Oh shoot, that actually killed me. And that is, yet again, a hit for Bleak Sword DX. Just before I go, I would like to show off a bit of the bestiary. I have to say, this is a really cool menu. We have your bat, the undead, giant spider. God, these are going to murder me in the real game. Org, the satyr, and the black hook, our enemy boss that we have fought just before. Okay, I have to say, I like both versions of the campaign. Hmm. That's interesting. It's cool to see that the boss fight as well, when you do the DX version. I don't- I can't tell if that's because it's a DX or because I just beat the other boss quick enough? But you do seem to get more enemies spawning during the boss like a normal game kind of would with mobs peering in. I wonder if there's an item that lets you get stuff from killing enemies that would make that viable? Like, ah, oh, you get health back if you kill enemies, things like that. That would be kind of nice. But, for now, I think we're ha gonna have to end this episode here. So, if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe down below. Hope to see you all next time with more Steam One-Shots, more Steam Next Fest game demos, and more Weak Sword DX. Peace.